mo akwa ba bi on the ba in sam ptv platform so ye de ani e chire mu e the jubilee house that is the resident of a uh, yeah his excellency nana do dan kwa akufu ado na wo do ani chire mu e wo ho anwumre ya um bilateral a uh, yeah, talks and economic cooperation say koso between the president of hungary a uh, president janu ada any uh, yeah, the president of the republic of ghana nana adodankwa akufu ado now we uh, follow the visit by hungary's uh, yeah, president to strengthen a uh, yeah, bilateral and economic cooperation between the two countries that is ghana and hungary and yeah, the nhrm uh, 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 the jubilee house now just uh, as usual the uh, president his Excellency Nana Danko Kufwa do shas yese wo kasa chese Eye President of Hungary ye papa eye Janu Ada boni trim kusa boni trim kusa chese O hun se yes gana man penyini eye man penyina chese en semu an kasa ebishe papa ni trinti Yanko a yanko jubli house ni yanko kukuti how President Nana Ado Danko Kufwa do would President Janu Ada of Hungary in relation to eye economic and uh, trade corporations between the two countries. Enti, if you are in the Jubilee House, you can see the same thing. It's the ECOFI. And welcome to the press briefing on the historic occasion of the state visit of the President of the Republic of Hungary. Indeed, Ghana and Hungary are on a threshold of a new relationship. The President of the Republic of Ghana hosts his Hungarian counterpart, President Janos Ada. It's a historic visit in the sense that he is the highest senior official of government since 1973 to be visiting the Republic of Ghana. The two leaders have just concluded bilateral talks and they are here for the press briefing. So on this occasion, may I invite Mr. Jeff Saki to moderate the press briefing session. Thank you very much, Director State Protocol, Ambassador Kuma, um, President of the Republic, Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado, President of the Republic of Hungary, His Excellency Janos Ade, Senior Government Officials from both Ghana and Hungary. This is the press briefing session on the state visit to Ghana by President Ade of the Republic of Hungary to the Republic of Ghana. And during this session, we'll have an opening statement by the President of our Republic, President Ekufado, after which the President Ade of Hungary will also respond to the President's statement. After the opening statement, we'll also have an opportunity for you members of the media to ask some questions. And with that said, I call on President Ekufado for his opening statement. Mr. President. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the media, thank you very much for your presence here this afternoon. I welcome the President of Hungary, His Excellency Janos Ade, to Ghana and to Jubilee House, the seat of Ghana's presidency. This pres visit by President Ade is a <coughs> landmark one, as it is the first time since the fall of communism that a sitting president from Hungary is paying a state visit to Ghana. We are honored by your presence, Mr. President. The purpose of this visit by the Hungarian president is to reaffirm the ties of cooperation and the bonds of friendship that our two countries attach to our relations with each other. President Ida and I had the opportunity, the first time, of meeting on the sidelines of the R20 Austria World Summit held in Vienna in May 2019, where we both pledged our commitment to exploring further areas of interest for the mutual benefit of our two countries. This visit reinforces our commitment to engage each other further to this end. Our two countries share similar aspirations and values. We have both turned our backs on our authoritarian past and have embraced democratic governance with its respect for human rights and the rule of law. We are member states of the United Nations. We have collaborated effectively 
on several matters over the years, and a major outcome of this afternoon's meeting was the reaffirmation of our commitment to collaborate further and provide mutual support at both bilateral and multilateral levels. To this end, the ministerial teams of our two countries a few minutes ago held discussions centering on the expansion of relations in the sectors of trade, pharmaceuticals, manufacturing, ICT, financial services, water management and environmental protection, with an agreement to put in place for the commencement of meetings under the auspices of the Joint Permanent Commission for Cooperation, which will serve as a platform for accelerating mutually beneficial cooperation between Ghana and Hungary. A number of key agreements will be signed eventually between our two countries. They are one, the continuation of the educational exchange program between the Ministry of Human Capacities of Hungary and the Ministry of Education of Ghana. Through this program, educational assistance has been offered to several Ghanaian students to study in Hungary in fields such as medicine, engineering, and agriculture. On the other hand, a number of Hungarian scientists, engineers, and doctors have also completed various missions in Ghana. Secondly, the mutual visa exemption for holders of diplomatic and service passports between the Republic of Ghana and Hungary is ratified by Ghana's parliament in November 2019. Thirdly, the Memorandum of Understanding on Sports Cooperation between the Ministry of Human Capacities of Hungary and the Ministry of Youth and Sports in Ghana. Fourthly, the Memorandum of Understanding with Hungary on Cooperation in the field of waste management in Kumasi, Takradi, Tamale, and Dambai, with a commitment to work toward establishing a framework for swift and seamless cooperation between the parties based on equality, reciprocity, and mutual benefit. And fifthly, the signing of a memorandum of understanding in the field of environmental protection and nature conservation, which, considering the impact of climate change and the realization of sustainable development goal number 13, is timely. Our two countries have reiterated our mutual determination to help realize the global commitment of halving emissions by 2030 and attaining neutrality by 2050. Ghana also called on Hungary to lend its support to the African Continental Free Trade Area, whose secretariat is located in Accra. The AFCFTA links 54 markets, covering 1.2 billion people, with a combined GDP of 3 trillion United States dollars. By 2050, it will cover an estimated 2.5 billion people and have over a quarter of the world's working age population. The investment and business opportunities offered to the Hungarian private sector by the infrastructure to link these, required to link these markets more effectively, are enormous. On behalf of the government and people of Ghana, I thank President Jana Sada and the government and people of Hungary once again for the support offered to Ghana's successful candidature for a non-permanent seat in the United Nations Security Council for the years 2022 and 2023. Ghana received the highest number of votes on the day, which could not have been possible without your active support, Mr. President. We discussed collaboration in the maintenance of peace and security, especially the challenges in the Sahel region of West Africa which has witnessed the presence of terrorists and jihadist forces, leading to an upsurge in violence and instability in the area. With Africa confronted by multiple threats to the territorial integrity of some of its states, and many of its civilian populations being put under serious threats, it shall be the position of Ghana on the Security Council that now is not the time for the Council to reduce its peacekeeping mandates on the continent. On the contrary, it should increase them in a penny-wise, pound-foolish scenario. I indicated to President Adam
The Ghana supports wholeheartedly the process of the process of UN reform, especially of the UN Security Council, as set out in Africa's common position on UN reform, based on the Ezzouini consensus, and is anxious that the matter of UN reform be restored to the global agenda. I solicited the support of Hungary and the other countries of Europe for this long overdue reform. It is time to correct the long-standing injustice that the current structure and composition of the UN Security Council represent for the nations of Africa. On the issue of migration, we have seen and continue to see the high numbers of young Africans taking distressing risks across the Sahara and around the Mediterranean, trying to reach a better life. Whilst we strive to provide youth with the right environment in Africa, which will enable them to enhance their skills, receive appropriate training, and have access to digital technology and enhance economic opportunities. President Ada and his delegation have reiterated their determination to champion the need for humane treatment of illegal migrants, as well as the protection of their human rights in accordance with international law both at home and in European platforms. I indicated to President Ada that we value very much our relationship and cooperation with the European Union, of which Hungary is an important member. This relationship encompasses a wide range of areas, in all of which the European Union has proved to be a valuable and dependable partner. We're delighted that on 7 January 2022, we received a notification from the European Commission through the intermediary of the Commissioner for Financial Services, Financial Stability and Capital Markets Union, May Reed McGuinness, that Ghana, after the pursuit of some rigorous reforms, has now been formally removed from the gray list of high-risk third countries in money laundering activities. In concluding, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to state that this afternoon's meeting has further boosted the steadfast cooperation between us, and Ghana will continue to collaborate with Hungary at all levels, particularly towards the peaceful resolution of conflicts and in the search for global peace and security to promote sustainable development around the world. I thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, President Akufuado of the Republic of Ghana. I now call on President Janos Ade of the Republic of Hungary for his opening statement. Mr. President. Uh, I, I suppose you need the uh, interpreters. Yes, absolutely. Most még egyszer is tehát, tisztelt elnök úr és tisztelt hölgyeim és uraim, régi adóssága a magyar diplomáciának, az elnöki diplomáciának is ez a látogatás, hiszen elnök úr is utalt erre 1990 óta, amióta Magyarországon a rendszerváltás megtörtént, nem járt köztársasági elnök itt Gánában, az önök országában. Mr. President, it's okay? Yeah. Yes, I can. Thank you. Uh, Elnök úr utalt arra is, hogy két évvel ezelőtt Bécsben találkoztunk, és lényegében a mai négy szemközt, illetve a plenáris ülésen zajló beszélgetés az mutually uh, benefit uh, from in terms of the cooperation. Mr. President, uh, you have made an exhaustive uh, list, uh, you've mentioned an exhaustive list, I don't want to repeat that. Instead, I'd like to concentrate on some of the achievements of the recent years. Most probably, uh, Ghanaian media have also reported
when during the course of last year President Akufo Addo was kind enough to uh, attend the inauguration of a wastewater treatment plant which is one of the largest but definitely the most modern uh, wastewater plant uh, of Ghana in Kumasi which uh, is or could be a substantial help uh, for this country in uh, averting waterborne diseases uh, that uh, polluted water uh, spreads and that can help to reduce the number of people hospitalized because of waterborne diseases. As much as I know, uh, this is a very successful project, testament to which is the decision to do further uh, wastewater plants uh, being envisaged. Uh, with the same interlocutors, with the same Hungarian partners. The second important achievement, outcome of our cooperation during the past two years, is the existence of two reference farms. These have not been inaugurated, these are being successfully operated every day, which are important for Ghanaian farmers in terms of vegetable or food production, uh, serve as a good point of reference, as a reference case. The third achievement, and Mr. Akufuado mentioned several times during our discussion, the importance, uh, the significance he attaches to education. He mentioned in his opening statement how important the cooperation is, and I'll be happy to inform you uh, that during the past five years, so over a period of five years, uh, we have had a three and a five-fold increase of scholarship students coming from Ghana to Hungary. You've mentioned medicine, agriculture, uh, hydrology, all areas of, uh, of uh, research, areas of science where Hungary has accumulated substantial knowledge and experience, which we are so happy to share with uh, whoever comes and studies in Hungary, be it on a scholarship or otherwise. And we are sincerely hopeful that once these uh, scholarship students return to Hungary, they are able to put to good use the kind of knowledge uh, that uh, they gather in Hungary. They can put it to good use to the benefit of Ghana. Let us also make mention of uh, the objectives that we have in our cooperation. Assistance cooperation cannot stop. Uh, this is a continuing affair. I think one of the important areas is definitely agricultural cooperation, agricultural economy, agricultural farming cooperation. Ghana is definitely in need of uh, having modern processing industry, modern conservation industry in order, in order to create products, Ghanaian products that are even more marketable. Ghana has defined the objective of uh, also producing uh, rice uh, in order to be self-sufficient, that, uh, that it should not be forced to import. So if I look at rice, corn or soy uh, uh, production, if I look at uh, the plant cultivation efforts in Hungary, uh, the seed cultivation that we have there is definitely an area where we can also cooperate in the future. Hungary has uh, gathered quite substantial experiences in actually being able to develop, cultivate seeds that are adapted to the individual climate of certain countries. There you go, we have mentioned climate change, another important subject of our discussions now. So, in order to be able to use and to uh, produce plant varieties uh, that are more resistant to uh, the specific climate. Another area of cooperation is hydrology, water related. President Nana Kufuado mentioned uh, an example here, but Hungary, I should go further, is also uh, possessing very substantial technological knowledge in water purification for drinking water. What we are able to do now, today, in areas that are completely secluded from the world, uh, remote areas of a country where there isn't infrastructure, we are able to solve the problem of uh, potable water with containerized mobile units. 
but I can also mention the mobile units that you can use on the seashores in order to use desalination as a process to supply the community with drinking water. I believe that, uh, and it's been mentioned in so many different fora, I did completely agree with the President that the 21st century is going to be the century of water. Without water, without good quality water, you cannot supply the population, you cannot develop the industry, and you can definitely not develop the agriculture. And in these terms, Hungary does have the knowledge, does have the technology uh, that uh, have proven themselves. Most recently, we organized a few months ago a uh, sustainability expo in Budapest, the Hungarian capital, to present these technologies. So I am convinced that we do have the kind of capabilities that will help us to have successful cooperation with Ghana. Thank you very much for your honoring attention.